What's up guys, Merch by Amazon, sales update and news, July 2017, so a lot of stuff to get into, and I'm just gonna like probably like sit back and chill a little bit, because man, Merch, if you got in and started selling for the Eclipse stuff, you probably made a whole bunch of money, assuming uh, you have a lot of shirts out there, and your shirt hit it big for the Eclipse, then that's really, really good for you. We're going to talk about that and talk about trends and what I'm doing now and what's going on with merch. So let me go to the numbers first. Um, well, actually, before we start, uh, just to remind you, Merch Minds Podcast, me and Young, we have a weekly episode iTunes, Libsyn, Stitcher, our private Facebook group if you want to join that. It is free. The podcast is free. You can listen to it every single week. Last week we had a problem. We had an issue with uh, audio. Um, for some reason it just didn't work out with um, our special guest, but we're going to have her back on and then we're going to interview her for this week and then we should be back to normal. Everything should be good to go there. Um, so we'll talk about the uh, podcast and actually where me and Yang are going to be um, in uh, September. So we'll talk about that. All right. So year to date, uh, January through July, I've made a little bit over $30,000 uh, for those seven months combined, which was uh, actually, this was probably, I think this was like my starting salary like four, four years ago five years ago around there so just to just to show you and actually that was uh before taxes this is pure profit um since i don't have any designers or anything and I'm not hiring anybody to list or anything like that this is just my uh money from merch let me go to show you guys my sales and what's going on here so of course from the 90 day rule we have had some designs taken down let me refresh this i think the last time we talked at least that i showed you guys i was at like 2300 shirts or something remember a lot of these shirts are kind of old um i think i submitted about 125 shirts for the month of august not that great if you guys remember especially when i was really focusing on merch and in my prime um, I was submitting about a hundred a week, so uh, really behind this month of August. Uh, same thing, going out of town and and trying to build up my brand and my name, and it's it's a lot of work out there. I feel like I'm I'm on tour or something like a band. Uh, you know, even though I'm doing presentations, it's like you're playing a show. Um, I have different you know lanyards and. Uh, you know, drawstring bags and other cool stuff, Hustler Hacks gear. It's almost like I'm selling my merch like a band too, to trying to get my name out there. And the channel's doing good. That's that's growing almost at 30,000 subs. Um, but a lot of my attention has switched over to the traveling, the presentation, some eBay and, and my uh, YouTube channel. So uh, with merch, I haven't really been putting in the 100% that I should be. And I've even had some people commenting like, Glenn, you haven't, um, are you still doing merch? What's going on with the merch? Um, how come you haven't really been talking about it as much as you used to? Um, what's going on with it? And and that's just the truth. It's just that my my focus has kind of changed a little bit on, on growing the brand, Hustler Hacks brand, and my name, and influencer, and and things like that. So that's, it's, it's a lot of work. And something that you guys have already known that I met with Gary V and something that I really wanted to do and and that's what I talked to him about about growing the brand and what to do next and where to go and you know if I want to get my name out there I want to meet people and network then I need to be out there so that's where it kind of switched but now that Q4 is coming up of course we're gonna have Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas all of that is coming up very very quickly um, I don't have a lot of trips uh, planned out like I did for August. I went out of town, I think, three or four times, uh, different cities. So now I really want to kind of like switch the focus back into merch again and get these numbers back up 
um, to where they used to be and then and beyond and get ready for Q4. And um, I don't really don't know about how much FBA I'm gonna, really going to be doing. I think I'd rather focus more on merch and have that long term um, designs and build those up rather than uh, flipping, you know, toys and things like that from from uh, retail arbitrage. But uh, who knows? Let's see once Q4 comes around. But uh, that's where I am. The last seven days, 190 products sold and estimated royalties $967 and let me show you guys what I made for July so again we got a decrease and that's what I like I'm showing you guys my actual numbers I'm not trying to um, ever I don't know, lie to you guys and show you what I'm not really doing or pretend that I'm doing awesome if I'm not putting the work um, and time into it so that's what my numbers look like a decrease from June July three thousand two hundred and eighty dollars, and like I said, for August I probably uploaded maybe like a hundred and twenty shirts. In July, um, I didn't. I think I did. I think we talked about it last time for the last video. Um, I was already kind of like doing that switch where I was I was going out of town a little bit more often. Um, but now it looks like August will be an increase, um, maybe about four thousand dollar range. So kind of going back up. And then I could just build it up from there. So um, I'm going to be working on that as soon as my other trips end. I have two really uh, big trips coming up in September and October. So um, there we are there. Update. And I can close this. And there we are for, um, I guess, ever since I joined all the way until July 2017. All right. Let's get into just different news and tips and stuff. Oh, I forgot to talk about. Did I talk about? Oh, yeah, I talked about that. Uh, so if you want to know where I am for the 100000 profit, I am less than $10,000 away from making um, $100,000 profit. And I think this is wrong, right? I don't think I ever changed this. December 2016? This is supposed to be uh, December 2015 because that's $107 when I first joined. That was my first payout. So ignore this. We'll just put since december it was supposed to be since december 2015 so there we go and i am less than ten thousand away all right let's talk about the trends and everything we wanted to kind of get into so eclipse 2017 i think there was like what was the top ranked shirt but i remember somebody they had talked about they had made like a thousand bucks in a day or something because of that trend because of that day and leading up to it so i think yang had like two eclipse shirts live and I don't think either one of those sold. So I can only imagine how many Eclipse total shirts there were leading up to it. Let me know in the comments if you had any Eclipse uh, shirts live and if you had any good sales. Did you have success with a couple of these shirts or not? Um, did you just have a couple of them just to try it out to see what happened? Let me know. Like I said, so some capitalized on this trend. Some did not. And of course, now it's time for a new trend. Now that the Eclipse 2017 is done, uh, those people that did bank on it are going to have to find a new trend. And my numbers have been consistent. I should be combining consistent niches with um, trends. And I have way more consistent niches compared to trends. And that's why the numbers have been pretty consistent, whether I'm uploading 100 shirts or less or 120 range or you know like i said i haven't been uploading as much as i have been in the last uh you know three months or so but the numbers are still consistent and around the same um averaging you know 800 to a thousand dollars a week so i need to combine um the the niches that are solid that keep making money with the trends. That's probably something that I would re just recommend for anybody. And if you find some pretty good niches that have been doing well for you, keep building upon those and then uh, cash in on the trends, which we're going to talk about the time that's coming up, which right now we are in August. And with school, I think just starting up, now we're getting ready for the fall. Now we can get into different trends, which Halloween 2017 and why I want to talk about this and why it's important. Uh, the last couple of years, I have done pretty good with the Halloween shirts, and you're going to see definite increase in customers 
for October, November, December, Q4. So I would start getting ready for this now. I mean, you don't have to have them live necessarily, but have the designs ready to go. Do your research on trademarks. What can you do for Halloween 2017? And, you know, some catchy slogans. Now, some stores are already selling Halloween stuff, like Ross, which, and a little bit of Marshalls. They're not going all out yet, like Ross's. They already have, you know, decorations and scary, you know, skull stuff that talks and I don't know, all that stuff. So they're already preparing. Now, right here in yellow, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I guarantee you, if you go to these two stores, you can come up with a bunch of different ideas that are not trademarked. Um, and a lot of people are still trying to get around the trademark stuff. I've talked to, uh, you know, I am still answering a bunch of emails. If you have any questions, yes, you can email me, but I'm still answering those emails. And people are like, Glenn, do you think I should, should I try this? Should I try to get away with this? Um, do you think they'll catch this? Can I go around this? It's like it's a popular movie or TV show or team. I, uh, you know, if Amazon pretty much can figure out what you're trying to do, what your int intentions are, similar colors, and what you're implying, that's enough to get the trademark, um, you know, on you or copyright rule or something to get your shirt taken down or not even accepted, period. Don't even try it. There's millions of ideas out there. And so Hobby Lobby and Michaels, go there. I guarantee you have, you'll you find very good ideas to kind of work upon for Halloween. Marshalls and Ross, they have already started, like I said, on Halloween 2017. Ross, I've actually taken some pictures of some pretty cool stuff that, um, pretty clever ideas for Halloween. So I'm going to work upon that, try to make them better, of course, better design. And like I said, once I'm back in from out of town definitely gonna have to switch my focus and get ready for q4 tuesday morning uh they're a little iffy um sometimes they'll have a little bit of like halloween thanksgiving christmas on some small sections but nothing as good as hobby lobby and michaels target walmart of course they're always gonna have their halloween gear but um they're always a little bit later compared to like ross like i said they already have their stuff out and of course dollar tree you can also find like small little knickknack things that you know they they put out like uh small decorations small signs or stickers uh these type of things and that's what you can get your ideas from and slogans uh for halloween so that's my overall tip get ready for q4 and like i said have the designs ready you can already have these like on draft mode if you want with the proper um titles and everything already ready to go and I'll probably go live maybe um, first week, maybe late second week of September so that you're already prepared. And then those shirts give them about two weeks to already, you know, uh, go live, go on. A and they're already on Amazon. Uh, get some time to kind of build up, get some traction. So give those some time. Don't wait until mid-October to get these live. Um I would get them live before October, period. Um, a lot of these Halloween shirts. So make sure you're set on that. All right, so this is what I, what I wanted to talk about when it goes to when we're talking about uh, Min Yang and where we're going to be. Merch.world. If you want to go there right now, Merch.world. This is a, a Merch by Amazon conference um, by Chris Green. And first he kind of kept it kind of secret and then he just kind of uh, started marketing it and telling everybody about it. So September 6th and 7th, I know it's coming up very, very soon. If you're in the Seattle area, uh, definitely come out for this. So let's go to the website real quick, merch.world. Like I said, me and Yang are going to be there. If you follow the uh, Jersey guys, they do. Um, what is their, their Facebook group called? Um... But they do ride-alongs every single day. Um, they're definitely going to be there. And also Neil from Merch Informer is going to be there. Obviously Chris Green. So tickets, 295 per person. And uh, Ken Real, day one. Um, excited to meet him. Uh, Owen Video. So now I have, I have some YouTubers that are out there. Um, entrepreneur on what number one rated product. So I don't know if that that one has anything to do with Merch or not. This is the one that really has got me uh, kind of excited and pumped for this. So Chris put this, 
The event is being held in downtown Seattle for a reason. All right, who knows might show up. I heard Amazon has an office or two in Seattle. And he actually put this, two secret speakers from the Seattle area, wink, wink. And so awesome, we can meet uh, someone or people that, you know, that are directly working with uh, merch by Amazon. And, you know, they're going to have some type of news or maybe some type of, um, maybe they just want feedback, how to, you know, build up the platform or improve the platform. So two different speakers. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Let's see who shows up. Let's see Dan Wagner and then Linnell, which we're, uh, me and Young, we definitely want to get her on the show, uh, on the podcast later on. She's been doing really, really good on merch. Of course, Chris Green um brad making what making killer t-shirt designs jason miles is about shopify um selling a merch business that's kind of interesting too about selling um is that necessarily just your merch by amazon part but people have emailed me about this too asking me about selling their merch account and um let's see you've heard that it is not possible that is against amazon's terms um to sell an amazon business the thing is, is that you can sell an amazon business your full account you can't just sell your merch business though and that's where things uh, where people i think get kind of confused so if let's say for example if i were to sell my amazon business i would include my fba account numbers the fact that you're going to be ungated in nike those things matter. That's what people are looking for. Plus, you would get my Merch by Amazon account, which would have all of my live t-shirts. You know, you can see my previous payouts, but um, you'll have all those shirts live. And you can just kind of build upon that. And then you're at the 8,000 tier. You can build upon that. Uh, so that's what really, really what you can do. Young asked me one time, like, would you sell your complete Amazon business? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I would have to really... You know, my wife would have to probably get an account and I would have to probably, you know, help build that up, get some T-shirts going on that one, build that up. And and the fact that I'm ungated in Nike, that helps me out a lot because I'm still selling shoes on merch. So I don't know. I really don't see it. I mean, like a one time deal. Um, I think someone, oh man, what are they? I think we saw it on one of the sites that they'd sold it for like 80 grand or 90 grand. You know, of course, it's very tempting once you see 90,000 coming into your account. But at the same time, if merch lasts the next 10 years and they're adding drawstring bags and hats and phone cases and all of this stuff, you're like, yeah, of course you want in. Um, and then with already making pretty good money on that and having some older designs that are still making money, you're going to make way more than 90,000, um, you know, than that first initial payout. So... That's what we kind of talked about before. I know it's kind of random, but just throwing that in there. Uh, Michael Essick, which uh, we need to bring him also on the podcast, which we've, um, I know, we, well, he knows of us on the Merch Minds. We know of him. We just, for some reason, haven't gotten everything together. But he's a really, really talented graphic designer from the UK. Um, so that's going to be cool. And then Neil Lassen, of course, we've talked to Neil. He's a really cool guy, Merch Informer. And that's about it. So September 6th and 7th. If you're in the Seattle area, definitely go and say what's up to me and Young so we can meet up, take pictures and something, talk and ask us anything regarding uh, merch. So there we go. Merch.world if you want to check that out. All right. Let me close that and let me go back here. So that is pretty much it for the July numbers. Get ready for Q4. Trust me, it's going to be huge. I don't care how many live shirts there are right now on merch yes you can make money and don't be afraid of competition um, more and more people are just going to keep adding in but then again also more and more people give up uh, more and more people get kicked off for terms and and copyright and trademark and all that so do not give up on it even though there's millions of shirts email me hustler hacks and number one at gmail.com I'm also Hustler Hacks on Instagram. And the people that have emailed me and Young before um, asking us about coaching, we're trying to get everything together on that. I know I'm like super busy. I just want to make sure I have the correct and the right time to meet with everybody. 
uh, through FaceTime or Skype or whatever we decide to do and to make sure you're on the right track to make money on merch. Um, so we're going to get back to, to those people that did email us. Uh, there's pretty much like a whole waiting list that we need to get into and you'll, you should know pretty soon, um, about that. So we have that. And then in Denver, that's going to be in October. We're getting all the details set on that. So we're going to have a, a merch conference of our own. That's going to be way cheaper though. Um, it's not going to be 300 bucks or anything like that. And of course you can sit down with me and young, ask us whatever you want. And after the conference, um, you know, like a pretty cool hangout period too. And you know, eats and drinks and whatever else. So thanks guys for watching this video. We'll see you next month. Merch by Amazon. Um, our, uh, what August. So next month we'll have the August sales update where I'm at, what's going on. Thanks guys again. And remember go out and get it.